What's happening guys? Power Bang here and I'm bringing you guys the next video on my Town Hall 10 progression. How's it going you might be wondering? Um, you guys probably saw in the title, you know, above my head obviously. Uh, my first Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 3 star. Granted it was not perfect, it was not my cleanest attack that I've ever done. Um, but I don't care. I wanted to get you guys the update, let you know that I was a little bit excited about finally getting uh, a little bit of success here. Um, I wanted to break down the base that I attacked. Uh, it turned out they did not build a clan castle, so that was kind of a bummer. I don't know how much of a difference it would have made, um, you know, because you're kind of taking care of that outside of the range of most of the defenses. Uh, but it could have affected the time of the raid, so... Uh, first things first, we're dealing with a ring base. I put up a, a video, I believe, yesterday on how to deal with those ring bases, and I showed you guys a Laloon example. Now, same thing kind of applies here. Uh, what you're trying to do is get an Inferno Tower, uh, two air defenses, and the Queen and Clan Castle taken care of. Because there is no CC uh, in this base, we don't have to worry about that. But what I decided to do here was obviously Queen Walk is a, is a giant component of nearly every Town Hall 10 raid. Um, but the best spot to start uh, was we wanted to end up with the uh, the heroes on an Inferno Tower. That was kind of the goal. Uh, so to end up down here on the bottom, uh, bottom of the map or on the left um, by one of these level 2 Infernos. So that's kind of the goal. Um, so to do that, we wanted to start our walk at the top. Um, or on the right and walk either clockwise, counterclockwise, I decided to go from the top. And the reason for that is basically I wanted to open up the wall at this level 9 wall that I have highlighted, uh, open up the wall over here on this level 9 wall, um, and basically allow that queen to walk through that compartment in the process taking out this air defense, uh, taking out the queen. You know, she would also be responsible for the clan castle if it were full. So um, after that happens, she rolls out of the compartment, we actually open up this compartment over here with wall breakers, and we make sure that we wait until these buildings over here are focused um, on that queen uh, before we drop the wall breakers. And a test wall breaker is dropped, um, you know, over here to make sure that we are, are good to go. Um, so yeah, I think things worked out pretty good. The plan for the king uh, was to send him into this compartment to kind of walk down and then drop a jump spell, uh, because there's only seven tiles here between uh, this outer ring and the core, dropped a jump spell to span the entire thing uh, with the intention of having that king jump all the way across uh, to take out this inferno, and then have the queen be backing him up in case he fails to get the job done. So that's the plan. Our goal is to take out this air defense, this air defense up here, uh, this sweeper, this inferno tower, the queen obviously, and then also everything on the upper right and lower right sides of the base. At the beginning, uh, you're going to see a giant come down with a couple of wizards behind, and the goal for that is just to kind of force the uh, the funneling there to force that queen into the compartment I want her to go. So uh, the wall breakers come down. Uh, someone had failed on this brace base previously, so I knew that there wasn't a trap at that location for the wall breakers. Otherwise, I would have sent one first and then the, the remainder. Um, so as she kind of walks in here, uh, she's going to go take out this cannon. And at this point, I felt like, uh-oh, she might go to the builder hut. So what I decided to do um, was before that queen takes out the, the wizard tower, I wanted to make sure uh, that the builder hut and the gold mine were gone over there. So I drop a couple wizards behind a giant to make sure that happens. And now she's heading in uh, the other way. So a lot of defenses come in all at the same time. The queen's on her. I drop my rage, but it is too late. Um, wish I would have had that down sooner. I had to burn my freaking ability along with the rage. You only want to do one or the other uh, when you actually go ahead and do that. So, um, you know, when you, when you bail out your queen once, you can either do it with the ability... Or you can do it with the uh, the rage spell to keep that those healers pumping out massive heals. Uh, but you can see here, watch this archer tower as you know it locks onto my queen. Uh, she will move into range right here, and then my wall breakers go down. I send the test one first to make sure that spot's good because that was not cleared in the scout. And now she's able to actually walk around outside of the base once this archer tower goes down. Minion goes down here with the wizard uh, in order to get this little funnel done. Uh, so, just like so. And now, my king can go ahead and directly target the cannon and walk into this compartment. The jump spell is going to go down next, uh, perfectly placed, and that's going to allow him to head into that inner moat 
and start working on hopefully the Inferno Tower. It's kind of hard to tell if he's going to path there or not, but I was hoping with the ability that I pop right here, he goes ahead and hops the wall. Um, unfortunately, that doesn't quite happen. Um, he takes out uh, you know the storage and continues around the ring. Now I've got my balloons coming in. Um, the queen is continuing to walk. She's going to take the jump spell and start locking onto the Inferno Tower, the Tesla, the Sweeper, all that good stuff. And I've got balloons kind of trickling in here um, with hay spells to kind of get everything to the core. I miss my freeze. Like, really, dude. I'm on my phone. I didn't have my uh, tablet with me. The end of the war was coming. Um, I missed my freeze, and I thought I was done at that point. I was like, did I just seriously cost myself the three? Um, loons come in from the backside, inside of haste, everything looking good. And my queen dies just barely, just enough DPS on her uh, to keep her dead. Still have a hound left up, and uh, obviously this is going to end up being three. Quite a few balloons left over. Um, and the only worry that I had is that my hound did not pop. So I've got pups all over the base, and basically, uh, we are finishing up, uh, you know, cleaning this thing up for three stars, but everything looking good at this point, and we will finish up with the balloons. Fast forwarding through the rest, and we are looking good to go. So, uh, that is going to do it for the three star there. Power Bank getting his first Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 triple ever. Lots to work on still, though, guys. Lots of things to clean up. Uh, some things that I saw in that raid that I could have done far better um, was the uh, Archer Queen Rage and Ability timing. I needed to get that Rage down a little bit sooner uh, so I could save her ability. Another thing that I could have worked on uh, was my Loon deployment. I felt it was a little bit sloppy, and obviously my, my spell placement. The free spell was god-awful. I missed everything important, but at least that Town Hall got frozen, though, guys. Um, anyways, guys, wanted to share this with you. I know a lot of people are, are eager to hear about my Town Hall 10 progress and how things are going, uh, but things are looking good. We're progressing. Um, you know, obviously, this was not the, the best clan in the world, not filling clan castles and whatnot. And, uh, you know, obviously the results show here. We, we dang near perfect wardum, um, but not quite. Just fell a little bit short, and uh, that is going to be that. But anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, update on My Town All 10 progress. I'll show you guys some more raids real soon. I'm going to be practicing hard, trying to get these three-star attempts down. And uh, obviously, as we get better opponents, the bases will get tougher and tougher. So uh, you guys will see, be seeing more soon. If you like the video, definitely hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe. And uh, leave me a comment and let me know what you thought, guys. Take care, and we will see you in the next video. This is Power Bang, and I'm signing out.